Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today we're going to show you how to change out the brake pads on our 2008 Honda CBR600RR. Pretty simple procedure, just a couple of bolts to uh, take out, and a couple of pins that need to be pulled out of position. So let me go ahead and show you how to get it done. Alright guys, it's going to be a really short uh, tool list for this particular project. All you're going to need is a, a, a good torque wrench, uh, one that has a range from at least 10 foot-pounds up to around 60, although I think the highest number we use here is going to be 33. Uh, then you need a decent uh, 3 8 inch ratchet, 14 millimeter socket, then a 5 millimeter Allen, and then just a regular flat blade screwdriver. First thing we need to do is go ahead and break loose these two 5 millimeter pins that are actually uh, holding the top of the brake pads. You want to get this done here because it's a whole lot easier when the uh, caliper is actually mounted to the, the bracket there instead of trying to hold it after the fact. All right, these two 14 millimeters, according to Honda, they are one-time use only. So when you're ordering your brake pads, you want to go ahead and order uh, two sets of these bolts as well. All right, now we can slide the caliper up and off. And what you want to do now is just use a flat blade screwdriver to push the, uh, the pistons back to make room for the new brake pads to go in. And those push back. Now we can go ahead and take our pins all the way out. And I'm sure a few of you are noticing that uh, these brake pads that I'm taking out are actually in really good shape, but eventually, you will need to replace yours, guarantee you. All right, that looks clean in there. The pistons push back evenly, the spring in the back looks good. So to get the new ones in, just lay them in place like that. And then you may have to push against the spring just a little bit to get these other pins to go back in. that. Get those back in just hand tight. And we want to go ahead and spread them back open so we can get it back over our rotor. So we've got our new bolts. Let's get those in place. Reason Honda is saying to replace these, uh, they're one-time use. Once they've been stretched, setting the torque at a 33 foot-pounds, we're not supposed to reuse them again. So I'll take their word for it. And don't forget about your pins. And they're actually only 11 foot-pounds. All right, listen, I told you all this was gonna be an easy one. Basically, the other side is just a mirror image of what I did right here. So it's exactly the same procedure. So, in wrap up, really, it's a simple process to do, simple procedure. Save yourself a fair amount of change without having to take it to the dealership. Listen, if you need any of these parts, come see us at partzilla.com and uh, we'll get you taken care of. If there's something I did that you couldn't see or you need some clarification on, leave it in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer it. And until next time, we just want to say thanks for watching.